In today's video I'm going to teach you how to make a fuck ton of ice so you can be cool like all the whales. Let's check out Ego Travis. Ah oh, fuck. It's not open right now. This is as disappointing as wanting Taco Bell at 4am and Uber Eats isn't delivering. I have an idea though. Let's call up my good friend Phoenix Tassida. Hello this is Phoenix. Hello Phoenix. The dual mode is closed right now. How can I make some ice? Hello, Rep. Me favorite person. You look so handsome with Toda. Unfortunately, Ego Traverse is closed right now. But if you want to make some ice, you should do a do Montreal. Do Montreal is my favorite activity to do hila iri menischke about Mamasaurus ex home cooked me als. Bue bue, me little schnitze. Hm. Do Montreal doesn't sound bad. Let me call my friend Matty Hu and ask his thoughts as he is a massive fucking crab. Hello Matty. Should I do Dormant Realm? Oh hey Rep. Yeah, Dormant very good. I'm on top of letterboard and I have only lost 24 capital ships. Not bad for a fucking wee bright. Anyways, can you please teach me to be as good at PvP as you are? No. Goodbye. Anyways that settles it. Let's try to get a Dormant fleet. Wow. That was fast. Not really, it took me 45 minutes to find the chat version of Poiseidon, a ripoff of Taekwondo, and a guy who can't spell glitch. At least we can do this realm and get some sweet loot. The cool thing about Dormant Realms is that upon completion you can get boxes which drop materials for those fancy implants. No, I'm not talking about the ones you got your wife last year for year anniversary. We begin this dungeon by realizing we equipped the wrong nanocore and implant because we were so fucking distracted about getting three other idiots to do a level 6 title with us. That's fine though, this Bulgorn is really tanky and I'm rich. As you can see by what's directly in front of your face, we have to slow boat towards this sleeping dildo and capture it but all the little dildo children will spawn and try to stop us. We are essentially useless, because they get around more than our ex-wife, so we can't actually land any shots. That's okay though, we will shoot at the cruisers mainly in hope that the idiots we drug in can apply DPS to the small things. Dome and realms are an excellent way to war sweet 30 to 60 minutes of your time, while worrying if you are going to lose your flagship whale boat that you swore was invincible. No worries though, Nettie's disabled PvP, because some assholes from your favorite mercenary group were ganking people who place way too much trust in your average internet stranger. Once we finish one tower, we have to move to the next one and do it again, because repetition is sort of the status quo for Nettie's. This all gives me flashbacks to the Genesis War, when I would destroy all their citadels and little shit ships would fly around me. Unfortunately for them, they were not sleepers, they were just useless. Anyways, after we finish jerking ourselves off and wondering if that vindicator that doesn't know how to let the bulgon tank will actually die, we'll move on to the last tower and pray that this 15B bulgon can tank while my little dildo slappers handle the last couple way. The funner thing is, we didn't actually get any loot, because Nettis limits you to 3 boxes a week, because it would be terrible for implants to actually be affordable. This was a massive waste of time that could have been better served fucking people in Timur with a modified Vexer. Rep out. Subscribe to me you fucking idiots.